I have had eight husbands, so. <laughs> Two of them were mine. <laughs> Uh, you guys, some of you guys might know my first husband, he, he's been around a lot, uh, Satan. <laughs> he was, uh, he is a good guy, honestly, just, he, he was kind of dumb, he, he was shallow, uh, <laughs> but I buried him in a hurry, so that was kind of my fault. And that was Vicki Tremley, owner of Top City Comedy. She'll be appearing on the Fox 43 Comedy Hour Friday night at 10 p.m. on Fox 43 KTMJ. But before that, as you can see, she's right here with us this morning. Ta -ta. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm very disappointed that I don't get to do this on a horse. Oh, you know, that's okay. Yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert, everybody, for our next segment. We're going to have a live horse here. A live horse. Bob. Bob the we horse. Met. It, no, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah I will have to great. maybe get you out there and uh, chat with the horse. I, we chatted already. Him and I are chat? friends. Okay. Yes. You guys are friends yeah. already. Yeah. All right. What did he have to say? <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Vicky. So clearly, you're a funny person. <laughs> it's morning. Yeah, so, it's morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, you're a local comedian yes. in the area. Mm -hmm. Obviously, top city comedy going on. Yes. What got you into comedy? Um, I don't know. My dad broke his back when I was three, and I think they said that they needed to find something to laugh about every day, and I was all they had. So I guess I just sort of fell into it naturally. So from from three naturally, how long professionally have you kind of been doing comedy, going stand up? Probably thirty five years. Thirty five years. Yeah, wow, professionally, okay. yeah, yeah. That's, now it's really cool doing yeah. events, just going mm -hmm. on stages. Where do you get your material from? Just real life. Mm -hmm. And then I do improv with Topeka Civic Theater at their Laugh Lines thing. But the the stand up just kind of comes from the stuff I do. I mean, I guess I just say things in funny ways. Mm -hmm. Tragedy to me is kind of funny so I try to make tragic things happier of course yeah. <laughs> no I think that's I'm, yeah. that's that's how we all kind of handle yes. have to handle tragedy yeah. I would say that's a good way to do yeah. it yeah <laughs> yeah and so were you just you guys filmed the um Fox 43 comedy we hour that did. we got coming up on Friday so fun. that was now, so fun yeah what how was it like kind of bringing everybody together for that show what well, was that process like? Did you pick people out? Did people come mm -hmm. to you? Tracy called. Well, Tracy contacted me and wanted local Topeka comedians, yeah. pe comedians that are living and working in Topeka, and that's what Top City Comedy started as. I started with a friend named Brad Metzger, and Chris Schultz had a stage and he let us b use it mm -hmm. so we could go in and he wanted to practice. He'd never done stand up. So we just started doing it, and it kept going and kept going, and it's grown. And since 2011, we've gone from just an open mic with f a few random people to now we do month monthly shows at the Foundry where we bring in comedians, and now we have an open mic at Happy Bassett again. So we're back to our roots of mm -hmm. finding local people who want to try it out. That's so. that's great. And yeah. with, uh, with the shows every month, you kind of bring mm -hmm. in the same, some of the same crew, you kind of do change it out no, every month we, so it's almost a different show? Yeah, we have a different show every month. Yeah, this month we've got Anna Mae Smith and Jay Petty, and then Gregory Richardson, who started at Top City back in 2011, and then now he's in California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've All got right. three or four people that have gone either to California or Austin to do more comedy. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. It is exciting. That's what that's what I wanted it to mm -hmm. be. I wanted it to be some place for people for to people try start it. off and people to grow. Our first our first um, open micer the night we started was an 11 year old little girl and she killed. She was so funny. Her aunt was embarrassed to death, but she loved it, mm -hmm. so it was <laughs> that, good. <laughs> that, that's great. Yeah. And you said you started the Top City Comedy in 2011. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to all of a sudden, like, you know what, I'm going to start this group? It was Brad. It was Brad? It was Brad. I, I was happy just doing what I was doing, you know, bar shows or, you know, doing whatever I could do. I also have a thing called cranial aerobics mm -hmm. where I teach improv games and exercises to businesses to help them get better at everything. Improv's good for everybody. I, yes, I, yeah. I, I might need some improv classes. Well, you don't wake up with a script, right? In the yeah, morning, exactly. we improv all day long, mm -hmm. so you might as well make it funny. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Make this show yeah, more funny, really. I think. Just, yeah, have a good time. <laughs> That's great. So. And how would, for all the local comedians out there, maybe they haven't gotten their start yet, they want to start, can, how can they find you to kind of maybe sign up for Top City if they uh, want to try for a class or maybe try to get mm -hmm. them onto a show? TopCityComedy.com. We have a website, and then we're on Facebook. And then I'm, my 
phone number should be on about all bathroom walls. So you should be able to find me that way. That's perfect. I'm that's a realtor, right so <laughs> seriously, I'm out there. You can mm -hmm. find me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that no, that's so easy to find you then. And I am. I'm everywhere. Do you, do you headhunt for comedians as well? Are you like looking around, like going, this guy's pretty funny in sure. the area. Come on mm -hmm. down. My booker, my partner, Dan Shank, he is the one who kind of scouts out for people. But I, I pay attention to and kind of. That's great. Go around to other shows. Awesome. We support the Lawrence and the mm -hmm. Manhattan communities. Topeka doesn't have a huge comedy com community because mm -hmm. we don't have any bars that are specifically comedy bars. Mm -hmm. That's why we do our thing because that way we can go in and have an open mic so that people don't have to travel an hour for two minutes. That's great. Yeah, and now we got the Comedy Hour show. I know, this is going to be Friday. so exciting. Any quick teases of um, the, com the comedians are on the show? There's there's a bunch of them. <laughs> I can't even remember. We got Steve Mosier, Ali Goto. She came all the way from Peru, but she lives here now. Ed Davis, who him and I started doing comedy together with a guy named Dan Ballard, who was on V100. He was a, a DJ on, da on V100, so that's he helped me a lot. Uh, Dan Shank, Jay Patterson, she's a new gal that's just working and doing a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Malik El, El Amin. I think uh, that's, oh, this, Terry Richardson, there's just a lot. Yeah, I'm really no, bad with names. It sounds like it's going to be a great lineup. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. All right, really, I tune in. I right, tune in, everybody. 10 o'clock, no, 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock on Friday. Friday night. I can't yes. wait. Vicki, you know, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm thank looking you. forward to the Fox 43 Comedy it's Hour. It's going to be fun. You know, like I said, be sure to tune in Friday night at 10, right here on Fox 43 KTMJ. I'm sure it'll be a blast. And you can follow Vicki and Top City Comedy at topcitycomedy.com.